Welcome back to the Clueless Dad. Today we're going to go over some Kubota tractors, trying to give you an idea of what to look for when you go to a dealer. You don't know what tractor you need, you don't know how to read the numbers, that kind of thing. So today what we're going to do is just kind of go over this tractor, just because it's right in front of me. Um, so any tractor you look at, like this one's a BX23S. The BX, you know, normally is a subcompact. Any number that you see past that BX, like a 23, a 25, a 33, is roughly the horsepower of that tractor, like this is 23 horse. If you look at a BX1880, it's an 18 horsepower. An LX2610 is a 26 horsepower, anything like that. So that'll kind of give you an indication of what tractor you're looking at, what horsepower it is. So going to the loader, any of the loaders you look at, like this is an LA340. Um, some of the other ones in the BX lineup is an LA344, which is basically the same loader. Um, LA525, LA426, those kind of numbers. So any of those numbers, if you times those numbers by 2.2, what it equals is the amount that this bucket will, this tractor will basically lift. Um, so this one here, 340 times 2.2, you're roughly going to be in that 670 range that you can lift which is pretty darn close. It's a good rule of thumb when you're out looking at a tractor, you can tell what that is. Um, so going to the back of this tractor, if you look at backos, you're gonna see a number on the backo just like this, BT603 or BT, BH77, BH70, whatever it is. The six is, is it has a six foot reach. If it's a BH70, it has a seven foot reach, BH77, seven foot seven. And on and on and on that's a good way for you to look at it and tell what it is so just kind of going around the tractor this one happens to have a mower deck on it when you're looking at the mower deck you're going to see a series of numbers rck 60. the 60 is this is a 60 inch deck kind of give you an idea of what that is now this kind of gives you an idea of any tractor you're going to look at past this point um basically what it's going to lift what it's going to do behind it what those model numbers mean so that when you're talking to a salesman or you're looking on the internet you're looking at different tractors it kind of gives you an idea how to figure out what these numbers mean so this is just a quick video i wanted to put out for you guys at home first time buyers whatever you may be doing to see what you're looking at um, later on i may do some more videos on tillers kind of give you an idea on those uh, so stay tuned and thanks again